Good evening everybody, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with you for your weekly angel reading. Um, tonight, uh, it is Monday the 31st of October. Um, October, what a month it really has been. Um, and this will, reading will go through till Sunday the 6th of November. So welcome November. Of course, tonight I will be using my three oracles, the Angel Feather Oracle the Archangel Michael Sword and Shield Oracle and my latest release, the Angel Rose Oracle. Let me know if you're here. Please um, send me a comment so that I can see if I've got comments on the call. Hey, Simone, welcome from Blackwater in Queensland. That's amazing. Uh, please like and share the stream. That would be really helpful so people know that I'm on live um, I'm sorry I haven't been here. It's been a heck of a month with all the flooding and, oh, God, it just seems to be the gift that keeps giving, doesn't it? Uh, never mind. We'll just continue on. That's all we can do, one foot after another. I was extremely blessed. Thank you, angels, that my home was okay and that the shop has only just had a couple of little bits of water in it from some, you know, heavy rain but no flooding. So thank God. After COVID, I just don't know whether I could have done it again. So I'm so, so grateful for Archangel Michael protecting my home and the uh, shop. But there's been huge devastation in our local um, town and uh, surrounding towns. So we send lots of love and lots of prayers to everybody that has been affected by the flooding around Shepparton, Rochester and Ichuka and Marupna particularly, yes. So there you go. Uh, if anyone else is on the call, please leave me a comment. Give me some hearts. And at the end, if you'd like to send me stars, I will read a card for you. I'm going to read a card for Amy Stegman, who gave me Mel some stars when she was on the live the other day. So we will, I'll draw you a card, Amy. So I did just send you a little message. So I hope that you received that. So we're going to start the reading now. I've got nine people on, so that's lovely. Uh, please like and share. Um, all my oracles are available on my, thank you, Simone, on my website, michellenewten.com, which is N-E-W-T-E-N and Michelle with two L's. Also, you can check out my AOK specialty gifts .com.au website, which is my retail store website. It has a lot more gifts and jewellery and so forth on there. Hello, beautiful Janet. Thanks for the rose. Uh, yes, so that's great. I also have my online academy, which is AOK -okay Online Academy, where my Angel Feather Oracle certification course is available. Uh, all three of my beautiful oracles are on my website at a discounted rate when you buy the three together. That's great news. Uh, you can check out the website for that. There's lots of links in the description. Um, and also before we start, if you're not a member of my closed group, which is Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance for Spiritual Women, please join that group. I have a Christmas and Crystal Lovers market in my closed group tomorrow evening, which is heaps and heaps of fun. Lots of amazing bargains and discounts and amazing new crystals, especially for my ladies in my group. Um, so please join that group, ladies, if you're not already in it. If you are in it, don't forget, and if you do join, you can then invite a girlfriend or two that would be interested in crystals and Christmas items. This is the gift, which is a $90 piece of Celestite, which will bring in your beautiful angels. So that is for someone who is a group member who invites a friend, a lady friend, who's genuinely interested in my beautiful gifts and crystals and who makes a purchase on the night, you will go in the draw to win that beautiful $90 Celestite. So let's go ahead uh, with our reading. Please like and share the stream. I really appreciate that. The more people we can get on, the better. I've pre-shuffled these cards. I've actually pre-shuffled all the cards for the reading tonight. Firstly, I want to look at the energy of the week going forward from today to Sunday. So this is the coloured energy. So I'm going to draw the top card and I'm, oh wow, and I'm going to draw the bottom card. So the top card is the rainbow angel feather, which is lots of blessings. And the rainbow energy always heals 
and brings in magical manifestations and magical blessings of health with chakra balancing that type of thing so the rainbow spectrum is the color we're looking at which is magical for this week that's a great start to our reading the next color is peach now that's a color that i always think of peach sponge with ice cream it's a really sweet color it's really yummy it's like it's it's nurturing you it's nurturing your family um that type of thing so that's the color so that color is great to wear as a color if you do wear peach some people may not if you don't i would maybe introduce a peach calcite a peach selenite something that's in the peach spectrum for the crystal for this week so that's our colors Pretty much any color goes because we've got the rainbow, especially colors of the rainbow. And an add it, I would add in a peach color. So I would use that as a crystal. You can eat peaches, of course, uh, but you need to eat a lot to get that high vibration of peach. So you can actually imagine the color peach around you and paint it around you as well as another way to bring in the peach color, which is a very passionate loving and nurturing color so there you go that's our two um cards there for the color energy of this week so good it's great you can wear any color you like but peach tones would be great right let's do our reading we're going to use all three oracles for the start of the week monday today what's left of it tuesday wednesday okay i'm just going to draw what am I going to draw? I think I'm going to draw three cards. Hello, Jo Louise. So start of the week, it's a great week for anyone in a small business or anyone that works for a small business or doing work that you love and doing things that you are passionate about. So it's the magenta angel feather, one of my favorite angel feathers, essence of the entrepreneur. The angels have witnessed your business flair and dedicated work ethic. They believe you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path. Then the angels are saying, forget me not. Now, this is often a card about someone in spirit who is guiding you with business matters or the business you work for, or the work you're doing with your hands. So spirit is here. Spirit, it could be a spirit guide. It could be an angel. Someone is giving you messages from heaven to do with the business that you love or the work or passionate project you're working on. Protection of self, Michael says, make sure you protect yourself. This is strong shoes. It's a protective card using the golden mesh like here around you to maintain your energy to keep your energy high to work on your passions also protecting your passions your work or the things that you produce from other people especially if you haven't released something yet if it's new don't tell anyone about it just do your heartfelt work at the start of the week keep your things under your halo uh, because, you know, energy can travel fast and news can travel fast and someone can jump on your ideas. So for God's sakes, protect them. That's the start of the week. So it's a very, very deep, passionate type of um, energy at the start of the week, but it's really to do with uh, spirit guiding you towards the things that you love to work on. The middle of the week, Wednesday evening, Thursday, Friday. Let's look at that. Three cards today we're looking at okay again we've got our orange coming him in a deeper color which is the coral angel feather so this is show a friend you care so this could be uh, an important time to be there for a friend in the middle of the week or you may be called to be your own best friend look after number one first in the middle of the week okay there is a new arrival. If you've got a friend who's just bringing a new baby home, they may need some help. Uh, it could be a family member, that type of thing. It could be you bringing a new baby home. Make sure you're looking after yourself and, uh, you know, asking for help if you need it. If not, it could be the arrival of something new to you. It doesn't have to be a baby. It could be new ideas also coming to you through a friend. So a friend may give you ideas about a new project. And again here, this is very interesting. So this is fresh eyes, call in a third party. So what you're working on at the start of the week, you're keeping under your halo, but then someone steps up and says, look, 
um, I think you should do this. So this is where you need to listen. It can be on a new project, doesn't have to be a baby, um, but something new, a new beginning. So a friend is guiding you. There's a third, there's another set of eyes looking at something for you, giving you guidance. And you might ask a friend for guidance on a new project or topic or something that you're looking at, okay? But if there is a new baby around you this at the start of the week, um, you know, if you've got a new mum in the family that need, just check on them in the middle of the week. Make sure they're doing okay and, and maybe they need a hand. That could be something that's happening as well. The end of the week, um, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. Channel Divine Grace is a very spiritual card. Um, intense psychic ability happening around you, psychic messages. Protection of your home, you may be doing psychic um you might be doing some meditation. You may be doing some journaling, some angel altar work. You may be working on your home. Um, spirit is around you. Spirit is around you in, in your home, guiding you, protecting you day and night. You may get downloads during the night when you're dreaming, this type of thing. Here we go. We've got heaven sent. So definitely spirit around on the weekend. So do your angel altar work, read your cards, You know, get your pendulum out. Um, listen to a meditation, follow your gut feeling, um, very important. You may be sending someone some Reiki, um, that type of thing. You know, your home is also your body. So um, spiritual work on your body, you may be um, having a bath with some crystals in it, drinking some sea salt, you know, whatever it is, being guided to go and have a salt session have a massage, whatever it is, but it's about your body. Whatever spirit guides you to do on the weekend to do with either your home or your physical body, pay attention. Okay, beautiful. I got a gorgeous message from my dad on the way to work today. There was a car, it had a number plate, which I didn't recognize from another state. So that means it's not from here, it's from up there. So they're actually saying all straight away. I don't know anyone in that, so I don't even know what state it was. It wasn't familiar. And it said dad and it said a number. So then, of course, I went immediately and looked up my um, angel numbers app to see what my dad was saying to me. So you're going to have things like that happen um, this week. So that happened this morning. And then on the way home, um, I pulled up at a petrol station and there was a car there and it said, uh, you okay? So anything that comes to me that's A-OK -okay is always about my business and you will have your own angels telling you, you know, things that you recognize, but it was you OK and it meant you're OK, Michelle, and then the number, which I looked up as soon as I got home. So you may not get number messages, but a lot of people do and the letter messages as well. So, oh, actually, that was right. That was one. And then also when I was driving home, I got a number plate that was V. So to me, that's, and it was on its own. The V was on its own. It wasn't with other letters. And then there was a space. To me, of course, V is always victory. Then it was MN, of course, Michelle Newton, and then the number. And I looked that up as well. So I've had three really significant number plate signs today. And that's really what this is all about. Because we got the forget you not card here. So that spirit message is coming through. Of course, it was about my business. That was great. Then, um, you know, then on the weekend, we're going to have more of this type of thing happening because heaven's sending stuff to us, you know, about spiritual, psychic stuff happening in dreams or just knowings. You know, you just might be a person who has a lot of knowings and you just know stuff. So for goodness sakes, follow that. This is a great week. This is this is very nice. Um, yeah, you've got a friend around you midweek may give you a you know another opinion on something or it could be that you need to be a friend and give your opinion on something if there's a new baby coming midweek or someone who's got a new baby for god's sake check on them midweek because you know they just might need a hand that type of thing if it's a new project you're working on a friend might help you maybe you're doing some gardening and someone shows up to help you out that type of thing. So, yes, so there you go. This is a beautiful, it's a very spiritual, there's a lot of spirit around this week. So pay attention, have your antenna tuned in. Um, and if you're getting messages, you know, like if you're waking up at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. or, you know, around about that time, 
for goodness sakes, you know, pay attention. What is it that they're trying to say? Well, what, what do you want? You've just woken me up, okay? Write down whatever comes to you at that time so that you can get back to sleep. Otherwise, you may forget. So there you go. That's our beautiful weekly reading for Monday the 31st of October to Sunday the 6th of November. Please let me know what you think about that reading. I would love to know. Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with you with for your weekly angel reading. I'm now going to go to uh, reading um, anyone who would love to give me some stars. Feel free to do that, energy exchange. I think I get a center star. <laughs> so that's fine. I appreciate that. Thank you, Louise. Um, if anyone would like to give me stars, feel free to do so now and I will draw a card for you. I would let, now like to draw a card for Amy Stegman. Thank you, Amy, for your lovely stars that you sent um, our way when Mel was doing a live the other day. So I'm going to draw a lovely angel rose card for you, Amy. This is for Amy Angels. Please tell me what you'd like to tell Amy using the angel rose oracle. Amy, this is for Amy. Amy Stegman. Okay, cards have clumped. Oh, sweet surrender, Amy. This is a beautiful card. Look at the castle in the background. We've got a beautiful swing with roses on it, and we've got a basket full of apples. Sweet surrender. Okay, let's read on this card. I have certain cards that are sweet. We've got sweet magic. We've got sweet spirit, and we've got sweet surrender in this oracle card deck, the Angel Rose Oracle. The angels implore you that it's time to sweetly surrender, let go and trust that all your hard work and de dedication will come to fruition and will be rewarded. You have high ideals, a great desire to advance yourself and desire to fulfill your dreams. The grand castle in the background can indicate that you may seek the, sh the shelter and solitude of your home to work undisturbed. And that came up in the reading as well, didn't it, about being in your home doing psychic work. A home-based business may also flourish in the future. The full cane basket of red apples foretells that your dedication to a long-held passion of love will see you harvesting prosperity, wealth and blessings in time. You may also receive admiration, appreciation and credit from your peers for a job well done. Your creativity may leave a legacy that people will benefit from for many years. I also feel that it's something to do with your home. You may even be spending or thinking about spending money on your home. And now is a good time to do it, Amy. Let me know if that, if I don't know whether Amy's on. So if she's not, um, she can leave us a message. And there's a few more people sent me some lovely stars. Thank you, ladies. Louise Whitford. Hello, Louise. If you have a question, you can write in the comments if you do have a question. Otherwise, I'll just do a general reading for you. And also, we have the beautiful Debbie Wellbeloved. Well, that's a nice name, Debbie, who also sent me some stars. Thank you. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. Little sip of green tea. Very good for you. Louise, is there any specific question or just a general? Let me know. If I don't hear back from you, I'll just do a general. I'll give you a minute because sometimes the feed is slow. Michelle Newton, Aussie Angel Lady here for you. Um, doing some readings now uh, for star givers um, because I did a free reading for everybody at the start. So now we have an energy exchange system going with some star. General for Louise. I'm going to use the Angel Feather Oracle for you, beautiful Louise. Here we go. Calling in um, the angels, Louise's angels. Please tell us what you would like us to like her to know, and what you would like me to channel to her, Louise. Oh, you have healing hands, Louise. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Julie. This is the Aqua Angel Feather. You have healing hands. The angels acknowledge that you have unique healing talents and abilities. Your magical prowess is required in service. Now, I don't know what work you do, Louise, but you have a way of exchanging energy by just touching someone, patting someone. There we go. You're okay. This is you, Louise. Don't underestimate the amazing healing that you can send forth to people through your hands 
I don't know whether you've done any formal training or healing or whether you're in a healing profession, but you do have healing hands. You do have the ability to transfer love to people. She's a hugger. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I'm getting. And that is great. And also, it's very important for you, to Louise, to know how to. Yes, I have. I'm not sure what you mean you have. Uh, you have healing hands. Yes. You, I would like you to be aware of running energy through you and not giving your energy away. Okay. So every day what I do is I, I have, I teach this in my, man, when I do my manifesting course, which I haven't had time to do for the last couple of years, but God willing, we might get there and do it again soon. But you connect to spirit. Good girl. You ground yourself. You shield yourself. Then I use gold sparkling mesh, very protective, very angelic. And then you run energy, okay? So don't deplete yourself, run energy, okay? Uh, so that's really beautiful. And, you know, I've listened to a doctor, actually a medical doctor, speak about how she knew that she had healing, and not because she's a medical doctor, but she knew she had healing hands and she knew how to actually heal people by just touching them. And that is what you do. You don't have to be out there charging people for a service if you don't want to. But don't underestimate the really amazing work you do in the world, Louise, through your hugs, through your touches, okay? Very, very important, okay? But just make sure you run your energy and don't deplete yourself. Thank you, Louise. Thank you so much. That's some really nice confirmation for you. I'd also like you to really work with the aqua colour. It's a beautiful colour, so your turquoise type stones would be great for you to help that energy. Um, what else could we use? Aquamarine would be another really great stone for you to use as well, Louise. Make sure also that you're drinking enough water. Debbie, darling, Debbie, well be love. Well, what a great name that is, Debbie. I'm going to draw an angel rose card for you. Please like and share my beautiful stream so that people know I'm here doing readings for people, for star givers. I'm really grateful that the stars assist my, my work, assist me to buy beautiful crystals to offer you girls in my um, closed group, Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance for Spiritual Women, where I have a beautiful crystal and Christmas gift Lover's Market tomorrow night. Quarter to six. Please be there. Oopsie daisies. They're all falling out. Debbie, hold on. The angels say not ready. They're there. They are now. Oh, it's time to celebrate. This is a celebration. Anyone having a... Are you having a special birthday or are you having something special coming up? Because this is a celebratory type of card. This is like a party, afternoon tea, high tea, just a birthday cake. An anniversary cake, a christening, a baptism, wedding cake. It's a cake, right? This is awesome. I love cake. God, I love cake. I just had my 60th birthday. Oh, my God, so did I, Debbie. Congratulations. I just kept coming out of my mouth as it come up on my... um. And Julie just had her 60th birthday. Well, wasn't 62 a good year? As I said that I just had my 60th birthday, you put up, I just turned 60, and that's what I'm getting the high tea because I had a surprise high tea. Thank you to my beautiful sister. I'm going to read you this card, Debbie. Well, congratulations. Love of God, there you go. Love it. Hold on. It's a great card. I love this card. Thank you. I had the best birthday. The angels present an invitation to you to celebrate the sweet things in life. When you have accomplished or completed something, it's very important to celebrate your efforts and to heed and to take heed of significant events in time. This particularly applies to small milestones. So that means don't just go from one thing to another. Make sure you always celebrate. Sometimes we can get on a wheel or we just keep going. We, we do one thing and we move on to our next, but we don't stop and think, oh, I did that. I turned 60. Go me. You know what? My dad only lived to 51. So every once we, we all, my siblings and myself, congratulations, Janet. Once we got to 51, every year we just went, oh my God, we're, we're a year older than dad. Like we're, now I'm nine years older than my father. 
when he passed. He died so young. So it's a celebrate, you know, celebrate your birthdays for God's sakes. The teapot and cupcake symbolize happy time with friends, confiding in each other, sharing of stories and good times. The teapot handle represents caring arms to hold you. The spout relates to the pouring of tears and laughter. So laughing to, you know, you cry. And the porcelain teapot correlates to the beautiful relationships you share. A precious gift from God that provides joy, comfort and reassurance. Set aside time to treat yourself and a friend to morning tea, afternoon tea or perhaps even a delicious high tea. Happy birthday to our 60 year olds. Go us. God, I had the best birthday. It was awesome. I had so much cake. I love cake. Angel, Earth angels love sweet things. You can still be on a diet. I'm always on a diet, but, you know, Earth Angels are always on diets. You're welcome, Debbie, and happy birthday. Oh, my God, I'm so excited for you. If anyone else would like to give me stars, I can read a card for you. I'm still here. Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady. Lovely to be here with you again. We've had a horrendous month. I was actually um, away when the floods hit and um, couldn't get back. And it was very stressful because... My family were on one side of Shepparton and my shop is in the main street and none of my family could get to my shop to see if it was all right. <laughs> I was going off cameras. I was hoping it was all right. My son kept saying, Mum, it's high street for a reason. It's high street for a reason. So for some reason, the angels took me away from here. I couldn't even check on my home. But I'm lucky. I'm so blessed. My sister lives right next door. So her husband was sandbagging our big drains and things like that. So I had to just, I had, to, they took me away. I had this plan. I haven't had a holiday for seven years. Um, well, you need to go and buy yourself one immediately, Janet. Immediately. I'm so sorry you got COVID. That's lousy. You need to celebrate your birthday. It's never too late. Go and get the cake. Have an afternoon tea. It's a must. It's a big milestone. We need to celebrate. Please do that, Janet. I implore you. So I wasn't here. I left when the roads were dangerous. So we had all the angels around us. And it was so scary. Oh, my God, I've never seen roads like it. They were like canyons, the potholes. It was just disgusting. And people were shredding tyres every five minutes. Anyway, we finally got to where we needed to get off, got off that horrible freeway and we were right. And then, of course, the floods just went from just terrible. And, uh, yeah, so I was, it's just, yeah, they took me away from it. And then I couldn't get home. We ended up, we did come home a day earlier than what we had planned because the roads finally opened, but I just had to get back and check my house and my shop. I knew my house was okay because my brother-in-law and sister were checking it, but nobody could get to the shop. And the problem was it wasn't just the floods and that's what I was worried about, but I have huge angelic protection around my shop. Um, not saying that nothing can ever happen to it. That's not true. I know that life happens. But the shops in Marupna, the windows were smashed. They were broken into. It was just dreadful. Thank you, Krista. How are you? We haven't seen you for a while. Lovely to have you here. So uh, there you go. So all was well. I had the most beautiful. It would, would have been perfect if it wasn't for the floods because I had a little bit of um, stress running. But... Um, I managed to walk on the beach barefoot and uh, that was really lovely. Um, it's amazing the people that you meet, isn't it? Um, I talked to a beautiful lady and I said, oh, I'm from Shepherd. And she goes, oh, God, are you? And she goes, look, I was from Tasmania and her the uh, fires went through in the, I don't know, it was the 60s or 70s and she lost everything. She said, I don't know what would be worse, fire or flood. And I said, well, I think fire would be worse because at least – flood you know anything above like you can save like your photos on the walls maybe i don't know so um yeah so anyway, we had a little chat i don't know who she was but we had a nice little chat you know you meet to meet people thank you julie thank you for the stars okay let's do julie a card i'm going to do an angel feather oracle card for you julie do you have a question or are we just going to do general please like and share the stream i'd love you to do that so people know i'm on live doing some readings for a little minute until I take off. My group, we've got the closed Christmas and Crystal Lovers Market tomorrow night called Six, Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance of Spiritual Women. All the links to my important things will be, a, you know, a, in the description once this um, video goes live. Goodness, they're taking a minute, Julie. Why? 
They say you can't make up your mind about something. You've been asking the same question over and over again because the answer is no. That's straight up, isn't it? Please tell me if you've been asking a question over and over again. So that if you haven't been, I'll, make, I'll clarify it. I, am I changing back to my old job and staying or staying at my new school? Well, the answer is no. So do we go by am I changing back to my old job? No. Just saying, it's pretty specific. Or am I staying at my new school? See, this is the thing. You've asked two questions. So I don't know what the no is. I have. Yes, you've asked two questions. Um, I want you to think of... Oh, no. What can we do? I want you to ask me one of those questions and I'm going to draw another card to give you clarity because I instantly felt you were asking a question over and over again. I want you to ask me which one, which part of that question you want me to clarify. Am I changing back to my old job or staying at my new school? Can you ask me which part of that, Julie? And I'll draw another card and I'll draw on it. Am I staying at my new school? Okay. Well, we want, actually, I'll put the note card back in there. That'll be interesting if it comes out again. And I'll reshuffle them, okay? They even really struggling to... There we go, we've got it. Well, this is a miracle card, okay? So this is about um, inviting a miracle... I'm going to take the bottom card. Practical approach. I wouldn't be rushing into anything. I'd stay where you are for the minute. Because something better could come up. I don't think it's your old school. Don't ever go backwards. Don't, don't go backwards. Go forwards is what the angels are saying to me. Like an old job. Don't. don't. Even if you loved it, don't do it. I've done it before myself and it, it just doesn't go as well. So I would stay where you are. At the moment, I wouldn't rush. This is a practical approach. And I'd wait because there's some, if it's not where you're meant to be now, there'll be something completely new and it's not your old place of work. Okay? I hope that helps, my love. If anyone else would like to send me stars, please feel so to do. Now is the time. Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. Please like and share the live stream just in case someone needs me to draw a card for them. Lovely to have you here, Julie. Anyone else like a card? Send me some stars. I think what you do is you go f fb.com slash stars, I think. There's a little button down here near the share button. I think that you press if you want to buy stars. I'm really grateful when you do. It's fantastic. It just helps me. Um, Get some new crystals for my closed group. My websites are michellenew10.com for my published works. My shop, my AOK specialty gifts and salt room um, shop is www.aokspecialtygifts.com.au. My closed group is Manifesting Prosperity and Abundance for Spiritual Women. Does anyone else want me to draw a card? Would anyone else like to buy some stuff? Thank you, Julie. You're welcome, the angels. I just do it. The angels just tell me. It's not me. It's the angels. Thank you so much. Something really good coming. Don't rush. Just stay where you are. Anyone else like a card with some stars? If not, I will go. I want to thank you for coming on my live tonight. I apologize. I haven't been here for a while. It's been a really tough month. Um, and we're looking forward to November because we're actually over October. <laughs> so please, God. Let November and December be good for small business angels. No one else for stars. If you do happen to give me stars and you're on the replay, do not worry. I will come back. I always check my lives. I will come back next week, if not probably next week, if not in before that, if I do another live, and I will read a card for you. Thank you, Julie. I had the best birthday. I had a surprise high tea, did I tell you? It was so excitement. I had cake. Oh, it was lovely. I had my favourite people with me. 
I had my great nieces. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I had my nieces, two of my nieces. And then my son, when we went away, it was just my husband and my two sons, which was so nice. My son made a video like, this is your life. And all my family that couldn't be with us, they all left me a message. I don't cry, but I nearly did. Oh, one of my sisters nearly tipped me over the edge. I had to fight back the tears. It was adorable. So there you go. So don't worry if you send me stars and you're on the replay. I will catch you up in my next live and I'll draw a card for you then. And I'll tag you in it so that you know, like I did with Amy at the start. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking my page. Thank you for supporting my small business. God, it's been tough. COVID and now floods. I mean, seriously. I just want to say one thing to you. I'd planned this. I was hadn't had a holiday for seven years. Seriously. And I had said to my husband, we are going to have five, six days away. And I said this. It come out of my mouth. Come hell or high water. Well, I will never say that again. And I said that to my beautiful Mel who works with me. I said, Mel, I'm going away. Come hell or high water. If you can't come to work, I'm shutting the shop. Well, what happened? We had hell and high water. Mel couldn't get to work because the causeway bridge was locked down. That's the across from Marupna to Shepparton. So the shop was shut down. Be careful what you say to people. Oh, God, it was like I knew. It was like I knew what was coming. I've been saying it for months. Come hell or high water, I'm going away. Come hell or high water, I knew. I was channeling it. We are going to be shut. There was high water all around us. I just didn't, just didn't pay attention to what was coming out of my mouth. Pay attention to what's coming out of your mouth. Because I channel, I'm a channeler. And it was coming through and I didn't realise. They were telling me for months that I would, the shop was going to be shut. There was going to be high water around me and I didn't pick up on it. Oh, gives me goosebumps. Anyway, I'm not going to say that again. <laughs> no. Anywho, I had a wonderful birthday. Saying thank you, angels, for blessing my, my home and my shop. Oh, thank God. Okay, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for giving me stars. It means the world. I will see you soon. Take care and keep your angels close. Bye.